What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of The Bats Collector. This one is going to be short. We're going to make it short and sweet because um, it's only going to feature two comics from the collection, both from Detective Comics, both featuring the League of Assassins. Hence the title of this video, The League of Assassins Edition. Now, of all the possible first appearance of League of Assassins or members of the League of Assassins, I have four books. But on the two of which I am going to feature are more important than the other two. The other two are the first cameo and full appearance of Damian Wayne, which, a big book, but it's more recent, so I'm not going to feature it. And the other is a more recent one that uh, came out in an issue of the new, and now cancelled, Robin series, Mother Soul. As, as it turns out, that is Rachel Gould's mother, and... Damien Wayne's great-grandmother. The first one featured here is a recent pickup within the last couple of weeks at my local comic shop, Legends of Superheroes, Detective Comics number 405. Now, this has the main Batman story written by Dennis O'Neill with art from Bob Brown, Frank Giacola. Then it's got two backup stories, one which features Batgirl from Frank Robbins, Gil Kane, and Frank Giacola, and a Frank Bartlow by Bob Brown. This book from 1970 features the first appearance of the League of Assassins as a whole, as a group. So this book is after the appearance, first appearance of the Sensei, but predates the first appearance of Raish al Ghul. Uh, Detective had a cover date of November 1970, while the first appearance of Raish al Ghul is, I believe, was June of 71. So it predates Raish by a couple of months, so we got to meet his group before we met him, and now I have it in my back collection. Now the final book I'm going to feature is something I bought a number of years ago, BC, before COVID, <laughs> down in a shop in Leesburg, Florida called Not Just Cardboard, which, nice little shop, um, they've since moved to a bigger location, but um, I was recently there again a, like a year or two ago in the new location, and the place is unfortunately a total mess, and barely anything is priced like the books i found they just looked it up on ebay right when i brought it to the front desk front counter that's a really odd way to do business i mean if you're going to do that don't do it in front of the customer you know look this shit up when it gets in and then put it in the bins but anyway uh, when i got this before covid it was actually priced and on the wall Detective Comics 411, with a main Batman story from Dennis O'Neill, Bob Brown, Dick Gordano, and a backup story featuring Batgirl from Frank Robbins, Don Heck, and Gordano. Now, what makes this one so special is that it's the first appearance of Talia Al Ghul, then known as Talia Head. We did not learn she was Talia Al Ghul, the daughter of Raish, until a little bit later, but this is still her first official appearance in DC Comics. Like I said, overall short video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos. I do the Bat Collector about once a month. I do reviews every week, so, like sometimes every day of the week, depending on how much is coming out. So make sure you subscribe for more stuff, and I'll see you next time.